Hello everybody and welcome to part 4 of the Blender 2.80 Absolute Beginners course. In the previous parts we've learned how to do the main operations, the, the basic operations on our objects. And now I want to show you how to delete them, how to add the new objects and how to copy them. So the delete operation is very easy, you just right click and having an object selected just press the delete option that's that's pretty <laughs> uh, straightforward uh, you can notice we have the shortcuts described on the right as well so if I press the X key I can also delete uh, selections so now we have our empty scene and to add objects we just use the menu here so, as I said in the first video, the amount of options you have is Blender, you have in Blender is enormous. So you shouldn't be, you shouldn't bother uh, not knowing what's happening here at this point. We will just focus on the mesh uh, position here, and we have multiple uh, mesh objects we can add to the scene. So here you can see is our beloved cube. We already know. Uh, let's move it to the side. Um, we can also add a circle, which, well, is the name is self-explanatory. It's a circle. It doesn't uh, help us a lot at this state. Uh, so I will just delete it. Um, what would be more useful would be a cylinder object because it has some volume to it. We can also add a cone. And there is a Blender flag model, which is the Suzanne monkey. So let's let's arrange them a little bit. And yeah, just by selecting them with a shift key pressed, I can delete everything and to go back with with my operation i just press ctrl z which is a shortcut used in any other i think every application as a undo um yeah so that that's it as for adding the objects to the scene to populate our scene a bit more we can duplicate the objects instead of adding instead of only adding them so to do it, we need something to be selected. And then we right click and select the duplicate objects. So once I click it, uh, you can see a copy of the object is following my mouse uh, cursor. And it's actually the same as if the move or uh, the move tool was applied to the object or as if I press the G key. So now when I press, press X, for example, I can move my duplicate in any axis I want. And all the options, uh, all, all the shortcuts that are applying to the G uh, key apply to this uh, situation as well. So when I press Shift and Z, I can move my duplicate on the same uh, height, on the same level. So as you can see, the objects align. And when I have multiple selections, when I press uh, duplicate objects, again, if I want to avoid any um, Z-axis movement, I just press Shift-Z at this point and approve by left-clicking. Um, as with deleting my objects, I can also use a shortcut for duplication. So as you can see, it's Shift D. So when I hold Shift and press D and do it again and again and again and again, I can actually uh, populate the scene very, very quickly. Now I can press A to select everything and hold Shift and press D again to again <laughs> to to as you can see add multiple objects to my scene I can press A again and shift D again 
and the objects multiply again a and shift d this very essential knowledge about the blender you already have is actually useful and you can create your very first scene so for example i will add a plane object and by the way instead of clicking the objects here you can also use a shift a shortcut if i didn't mention it i'm sorry so i've created the plane scaled it up now i can add a cylinder and scale it pressing s and now shift z keys so i can create a tree trunk and now i can add a sphere and we can have a very very easy a uh, lollipop tree let's call it this way now by selecting the trunk and duplicating it in the x axis i press shift a and add a cone object and we can have something that looks like a pine tree when i press s and z we can scale it up a little bit i'm holding a shift key and selecting the trunk when i press g i know both objects are selected and by pressing s i can scale them both down a little bit and now by duplicating the objects and pressing shift z i can move them around the plane so again shift d shift z shift d shift z shift d shift z so we've created a small forest <laughs> very very um amateurish very cartoonish but i would say for a less than one hour of getting into blender that's already something so again shift d shift z we can make some trees a bit bigger so i will copy it and scale up shift d shift z shift d shift z and scaling up so as you can see uh, with this again with those very very basic tools we can create some stuff we can create those uh, very easy scenes but I would recommend you to take a little bit of time and 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 play around and just to uh, re revise the whole knowledge uh, we have we've already learned in the video and yeah play with blender have fun with it um, there is so much more to learn but the most important thing is to enjoy what you're doing to have fun with it and because then, then the, the whole learning is much more enjoy enjoyable easier and definitely quicker so as you can see i'm just playing around in the scene create add some objects it's nothing fancy but it still looks interesting and you can definitely show it to <laughs> and someone uh, that you've learned uh, just the uh, essentials of 3d right now but it's always better than nothing and again in the next uh, tutorial sections we will uh, learn much much more so yeah again please enjoy please have fun with blender please try to create something very similar yourself you can of course try different things you can add a monkey and try to create let's say a body of a monkey from those very primitive uh, basic objects so 
like let your imagination <laughs> go and, and and play around so in the next videos i'll be getting much more into the 3d viewport into the the tools we can see here so see you see you next uh, see you in the next video